Another match of the week was the game between ABS FC and Sunshine Stars of Akure in what proved to be a true Southwards derby. The game truly lived up to the hype as spectators were thrown in an action-packed match for 90 minutes. The match ended 2-4 with the Akure side recalling their first away victory of the season. And Abia Warriors returned to their winning ways at home on Sunday with a 2-0 victory over Nasara United at the Umahia Township Stadium. An on goal by Nasara United captain Emmanuel Makama in the first half, coupled with a penalty spot kick from Sunday at Detunji, helped the home side accumulate another point which takes them to the mid-table. Also, they brought back smiles to the warring fans of the home side. For Nasara United, they could not absorb the early pressure presented by Abia Warriors, even though the threatened from the wings to pull one back. The loss against Abia Warriors sees them maintain the ninth position on the log with a total accumulation of 38 points, same points with Abia Warriors who are 10th on the log after 28 games. Elsewhere, Plato United humbled Aqua United at the Ruan Palm Stadium to extend their lead against their fellow title rival MFM to five points. The game ended in favor of table toppers Plato United by two goals to new, despite some good saves from Oloro Leko Ojo, with Aqua United playing with 10 men for the end part of the match. Other games saw former champions Enyimba of Faba beat Niger Tornadoes by three goals to new. Gombe United defeated visiting and title contenders El Kanemi Warriors by two goals to new. Kanopila lost away from home against Wikitoris by two new. The match between Castino United and Lobby Stars ended in favor of the home side Castina by two goals to one. After match day 28, a lot has changed both at the top and bottom half of the table. Eimba moved to third as the other team seeks to mount a challenge for runaway table toppers Plateau United. It's still a long way to go as the league gets even tougher by the day. I am Francisca Wobudo. It's a wrap on the Nigerian Professional Football League Review.